Hey y'all, good morning. Lisa here, Family Foods, day one of the $15 challenge. And um, usually I'm not too hungry first thing in the morning. Um, I was planning on having some of that fruit. I actually, I hadn't tried that watermelon uh, when I prepped it up yesterday and I tasted a piece this morning and oh my goodness, it's a good one. So I'm thankful for that. Um, I'm just having to start off um, for myself and um, the kids are still sleeping. I've got uh, two egg whites here, and I just sprinkled a little bit of everything seasoning. I'm using some seasonings and stuff for my pantry, um, but you could just put some salt and pepper if you wanted. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna have this to start off with, and um, I've got my two egg yolks here that I'm saving because I can definitely throw that into um, something else. So I'm gonna eat this, and when the kids mosey on down, I'll uh, I get something really good for them for breakfast. They're excited. Hey y'all, what's going on? We are going to make some waffles. So, you guys saw in my grocery haul, I picked up this chocolate chip muffin mix. And I was trying to think of something the kids would really enjoy for breakfast. And um, rather than um, buying a whole thing of flour, a whole thing of chocolate chips, a whole thing of uh, sugar, which would have uh, probably come up to at least uh, five bucks, um, I thought the chocolate chip muffin mix would, uh, work perfect because essentially that's exactly what it is in here. Um, it's not a huge bag. I mean, this was a dollar. I mean, not too shabby. I'm sure you can get it on sale. I'm sure they put them on sale. Um, get it cheaper, but yeah. So I'm going to dump that in the bowl here and, um, I'm going to turn it into, um, into waffles. So I've got... I just made some uh, egg whites for myself, and I have two egg yolks here. Um, all it says on the back here is to add a half a cup of milk. Well, um, I don't have any milk, so we're going to use water. But I thought the um, egg yolks and the egg, because it doesn't call for an egg, would act as the um, as the fat. So, and also too, it'll make it a little more fluffier and fill the kids up longer and it'll kind of stretch out this mix. I'm hoping to get breakfast for them and maybe a snack for tomorrow. I don't think it's gonna be enough to have breakfast for two days, but we will see. So I put two whole eggs in there and the two yolks. And let's say I'm gonna, it says a half a cup of water. I'll just measure it up. That's my waffle maker preheating. I love making waffles because to me, they come out nice and fluffy and uh, just something different. It's the same recipe if you wanna make pancakes or waffles, exactly the same. So, I'm gonna mix this up. If you guys like this angle? I got the thing up so high, I can't even reach it and turn it on and off. Okay, yeah, it's not a whole lot of mix here. I definitely, if I wanted to stretch this out, could add some more flour, but let's just work with it. I'm gonna add the rest of this water. So a half cup. Like I said, I prefer things on the thinner side. I just feel like it makes it a little lighter, stretches it out, and uh, that's looking pretty good. All right, I'm thinking this is gonna make two giant waffles in my waffle maker. But there we go. We've got a uh, waffle batter made from the uh, chocolate chip muffin mix. And I am going to uh, get a little different angle on the camera here and I'll show you, um, I'll show you some waffles. Ugh. So I've got my waffle maker here that I preheated. Now one thing I didn't do that was kind of the base of doing uh, was taking the chocolate chips out and then um because usually we make a waffle batter uh waffles for the kids i'll make the batter and then i put the chocolate chips on afterwards uh, just so they don't burn or anything like that so i hope i don't regret not taking them out we will find out so this is nice and hot i always like to uh, spray it a little cooking spray and i'm just gonna put it in here light up this chocolate chips. Yeah. Oh, it's 
too bad. There we go. I'm going to close that up. And it will beep when it is done. And we'll see how they come out and let the kids taste them. I, I think it's going to be good. Well, I'll show you when it's done. Here is the waffle out of the waffle maker. I just cut it and the girls are down here and they're going to taste it. And usually when I make waffles and pancakes, um, my girls are used to not having syrup or anything on it because the chocolate chips kind of act as the, uh, the sweetener. So here they all are. They just got up. Now girls, that's made from chocolate chip muffin mix. Mm -hmm. All right, give it a try. Tell everybody how it is. I haven't tasted it or anything. I don't see how it could be mm, bad. It actually tastes like a waffle. It tastes like a waffle? Mm -hmm. Is it good? Mm-hmm. I got it. It's good? Mm-hmm. Okay. Now it tastes like a waffle. It tastes like a waffle? Do you taste, does it taste, you can see how it tastes like a muffin too? Mm-hmm. Okay. So pretty tasty, huh? Mm -hmm. Approved? Mm-hmm. All right, I'll, I'll make a few more. We'll see uh, how many it makes. Hopefully, mm -hmm. I think it'll be enough for you guys uh, for breakfast this morning. Mm -hmm. Or maybe we can save one for tomorrow. Okay, enjoy. Here is what the waffles look like out of the waffle maker. So this is the third one. And I've got a little bit of batter here. So I probably get two more out of there. Uh, so that's not too bad. My girls usually have a whole waffle each. Woo, that's hot. Um, so there might be like one or two left. Um, so we'll have to, we'll have to have something else tomorrow, girls. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Okay. You want to do your little plug, Rylan? Um, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and turn on the notifications so you're notified whenever we post a new video. That's right. All right. Cool. I'm breaking into the watermelon. Going to have some for a snack. Kids are eating the waffles. They're starting to get a little full, so we might have uh, I might have at least one for tomorrow. We'll save one each for tomorrow, maybe with some eggs or something. So. Gotta enjoy this because buy some fruit later right, too. Guys. So we are getting ready for lunch and Mackenzie's gonna be making some mac and cheese. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna cut it so we can get like two days out of this box mix with the yeah. cheese. So we're gonna take some of this elbow noodles, probably like half the box, a little less than half the box, Mackenzie. We're gonna less. put those in first because the noodles are a little bigger. Okay. Yeah. So keep going, Mackenzie. Pour it in there. Let me see. How much is that? Uh, that's probably good. That's good. Okay. Probably like a third of the box. We'll let that go for a little bit. Then we're going to add in the mac and cheese. Then we're going to add in this full one. That's right. And then we'll show we're everybody. Gonna we're going to mix it. We're going to mix it up. Right, babe? Yes. All right. We'll get back to you. In the mac and cheese. We just drained the noodles. So we got the two kinds in there. And we have the cheese. Yeah. And so he's going to put the cheese packet in there. Okay. okay. And give it a little stir, Mackenzie. Let's put, um, let's put some uh, water in there to mix it. I'm going to put a little bit of salt in there. Okay. Okay, salt that up. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, because it was add some water. <laughs> <laughs> I told the girls we're making mac and cheese without butter or milk. Are you excited? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I told them they have to taste it. All right, get it all mixed up. We're going to mix this up. We'll do a little taste test. All right, Mackenzie seasoned it up, and the girls have it in their bowls. And Mackenzie says it was really good. All right, how is it? Is it good? It's good. And that's a, that's a box that we mix extra noodles in, and it has no, y'all were worried about no butter and no milk, but how is it, honestly? It's actually good. It's good? Avery? Pretty like good? Raglan, well, wait, still good. It's still good? Yeah. If I gave that to you, would you even have known? You probably wouldn't even have known, huh? Mm -mm. No? Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Well, it's different um, from what the normal mac and cheese we usually have. Yeah, yeah. maybe maybe hospitality makes a better brand, huh? Um, <laughs> no. No. <laughs> you like mine better? Yeah. All right, well, you guys enjoy. We've uh, been polishing off this watermelon for a snack. Kids are snacking on the, the carrots. Uh, really good watermelon. Getting ready to get some dinner put together here real shortly. And um, I'll show you uh, Jen's lunch for tomorrow too, a little bit later. Right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, y'all, let's make some dinner. So I thought for dinner, we would do kind of like a uh, hamburger helper. I'm gonna do it right in the Instant Pot um, as a one pot dish here. So I got um, the elbow macaroni. I used about a third of the box uh, this afternoon for the girls mac and cheese. And I actually went ahead and weighed it out as a 16 ounce box, um, 12 ounces. I have this little bit left. I just saw for a recipe purpose, we'll do 12 ounces. And this might come in handy for another dish um, in the next two days. So anyways, uh, like I said, we're doing all one pot. So I'm gonna put in 12 ounces of elbow noodles. Oh, I forgot the main star here. I'm gonna use that um, ground beef. That I bought, I got a pound of uh, ground chuck. I'm gonna use half of it, so I'm gonna do a half a pound. Sorry, I meant to get this ready before I turn the camera on, but I'm just gonna cut it in half. And I'm gonna put in half a pound of the ground beef. I actually could have put this on a uh, saute setting and uh, kind of browned up brown up the uh, the ground beef before I added the pasta, but you know what? It's a little late now, so <laughs> it'll be all right. And then to that, I am going to add in the can of tomato sauce. So this is a eight ounce can of tomato sauce. I'll put that in there. Make sure you use your spatula, get every little bit out. Okay, and then, so I'll break this, I'll break this up off camera, the meat, just wanna, so it doesn't cook up in a big old clunk. I'm just gonna, I'll make up, mix up everything. So it's in little pieces. And I'm gonna add in um, three cups, I think three cups will be enough, of water, or I'm actually adding in some um, chicken stock. This is, I bought a rotisserie chicken. Uh, I think you guys, if you watch the enchilada video, I was at Costco, I picked up a rotisserie chicken. I took all the meat off, threw it in the freezer, and then I always take the bones and I make a chicken broth. There's nothing in here. I just do chicken bones and water. And um, that's it. There's no salt or anything in here. I have it, so I'm going to use it. Uh, probably get the police telling me that, uh, the food police telling me it's the sun. <laughs> on the challenge, that's not acceptable. But anyways, I have it and I'm using it. So I'm putting in three cups of um, some chicken stock, but I would totally use water. I just don't have any room in my freezer for all this broth. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna use it in this dish. And then let's season it up because that's what's gonna make it taste good. I'm gonna put in um, a half a teaspoon of um, sea salt. So nothing has uh, seasoning in it. And then um, I'm gonna put in a teaspoon of everything else. A teaspoon of some dried oregano. Maybe a teaspoon, I'll put in a teaspoon. Girls, shh. Girls in the background. A uh, teaspoon of dried thyme. This one is gonna give it some nice little flavor. Going for like a little Italian flavor here. If you didn't have the, oops, it's garlic powder. You put onion powder. Um, whatever you got, I'm gonna put a little chili powder. You could do like an Italian blend. Um, you could throw in some Cajun seasoning would be really good. Um, let's put in like a little bit of black pepper, like maybe a quarter teaspoon. I think I'll just shake it, eyeball it. And I can add more salt afterwards, but there we go. So half pound of ground beef, about 12 ounces of macaroni noodles, three cups of liquid water or broth if you have it. Um, some dried seasonings here, a little salt and pepper. And I am going to pressure cook this on the eight ounces of tomato sauce. 
I'm gonna pressure cook this on high pressure for um, six minutes. That's usually a good time for um, pasta in the Instant Pot. And that's it. I'll check back with you in six minutes and let's we'll see, uh, we'll see how this baby comes out, all right? All right, look at this baby. This looks so good. It smells fantastic. I haven't tried it yet. But you know what's so crazy? I must be losing my mind here. Um, I meant to add carrots to this. I wanted some color and some vegetables. So what I did when I was cooking is I took some of the diced carrots and then some of the carrot uh, peel, and I just uh, I just chopped it up. It's probably about you know a good cup or so of carrots, and I just put some water and stuck it in the microwave for a few minutes until they got soft. And I'm just gonna drain them in this colander. And I'm gonna add this to the um, to the pasta mixture because I meant to add some carrots. So add about a cup or so of diced carrots. If you got onion and all that stuff, you know, to jazz it up, do that as well. But let me strain this, I'll add this, and then we'll do a little taste test. All right, that looks much better, doesn't it? Little color. I just gave it a taste. Guys, this is legit. This is really delicious. I added just a little more salt. Just add salt to, and pepper and things like that to taste, but this is really good. Curious to see what everybody thinks of this. I would definitely make this as a weeknight uh, meal anytime. Very, very tasty. Because with some canned diced tomatoes, you know, it's kind of endless. But for as simple as it is, very, very good. All right, Mackenzie, I just put a bowl for the girls. Mackenzie's going to give it a try. Mm -hmm. I think you're going to like it, yeah. Avery. Mm -hmm. I think it has a really good flavor. What do you think, Mackenzie? It's, done. it's really good, isn't it? Like, seriously, it's pretty tasty. You like it, Avery? I love this kind of food. You love it? I might have to make some, a little something else for Rollins. She's not a huge um, meat eater, so I might make her some like, rice comment, with an egg. Share, and subscribe and turn those notifications to whatever we post a new video. That's right. Someone commented um, in our last video that we didn't, um, uh, that I didn't say that. You forgot to say it, mm -hmm. yeah. I got you this time. But, a yeah, stuff. good stuff. And there's like plenty soup. there. It is like soup, and I love soup. Tastes like soup. It's got the flavor of like mm -hmm. a good soup. You could turn this into a I soup if soup. I had more uh, liquid. Yeah, if there was any leftover, that would be a good way to stretch it. All right. So anyways, it's a little bit of a longer vlog, so I'll end it right here. Remember, always eat happy foods. Remember, always make food with love, guys. Eat well. Doesn't have to cost you a lot. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Ciao. 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 Bye.